light my world on fire every day, <laughs> every day. I can't get up early enough to get on with the excitement going on in my everyday life. What do you think? What do y'all think about that goal setting? Furthermore, are you are you hanging out with people that they, they have goals that, I mean, and they can be totally different than yours, but that is where you've got like passion and drive and you've got an action plan, right? And you're carrying these things out and that's what makes you feel alive, right? What do you think? Let me turn y'all around. We're going over to the house. Did y'all want to come inside? Listen, if you come inside, here's the thing, okay? Clearly, it's not ready, right? The stuff isn't even out of the box. Can't y'all wait? Can my daddy not wait till I get my foot in the door to come over? No, he can't. <laughs> my mom has obviously already been over there. But the thing is, if you come in, you have to know that I realize it needs... I, I know that the light fixtures are, are tacky brass from 19... 89 I know okay I didn't get a chance to do it yet it needs a front it needs a storm door it needs a paint okay I understand I know I'm getting to it I'm not even moving in yet can y'all give me five minutes so I know it needs all those things and um the potential though the space is what we're looking at the space the tall ceilings the light streaming in and I have to get rid of those blinds because the blinds in the front those long windows have this like roll thing and it sticks in to the house you know in and the blinds are jacked up on the bottom of that and they won't go around it like I can't look at that that's got to go right away that it's got to go I breathe it is not it, it's it's not in alignment do you understand there there is like no symmetry like it's it's no good okay so anyway that has to go but what I'm thinking is having like sheer flowing light coming into the house what do y'all think are y'all excited to y'all can't wait Mara you can <laughs> all right now when I bring you in there understand that Christopher needs a haircut and I've been telling him that and I told him that his hair looked like Hermie the dentist off of Rudolph do you know what I'm talking about and it looks cute on top but the sides it's like still I'm like son that does not look professional I don't know what you're doing but you need to get a better job and that haircut is not contributing come on eaglet get a trim trim the feathers so he needs a haircut and his friend like that boy's not mine so and he's helping helping so we love we love him Caleb is the man today so anyway and Christopher we, we already have the internet hooked up and I have to call the water people I'm just giving y'all my list thanks for hanging out <laughs> what do y'all think Karen you want to see let's say let's say <gasps> y'all that's the great thing though is i will make it my own that's right has said that. that's right pamela pammy that's right and there's like some dated wallpaper now one uh, see this house was built born in 1940 okay but so it's it's got some very unique things but somebody's gone in there at some point and updated it probably like in the late 80s or early 90s and like that stuff's got to go but like in christopher's bathroom because somehow he got the master bedroom with the bathroom connecting and the walk-in closet anyway so christopher's suite over there <laughs> It's got this very cool, like, salmon-y tile and some unique tile on the floor and some vintage wallpaper. That's going to stay. And he can enjoy the vintage salmon wallpaper. I'm sorry, but he has a great living situation with me, and he can enjoy the flowers, and he agreed. So, hold on. Let me change gears. Anyway, what else does it need? See, I have a whole list. It needs fans. It needs fans and lights in each room, okay? And then it needs a front storm door. And I'm gonna, I might, I can't get a sink yet. I can't, y'all, these things cost money. 
Have you ever noticed how a lot of things in your life, like it, it really, if you could just throw some dollars at it, you could fix it? <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? Like if I had 20 more dollars, I, but I did, I did a nice thing today. Do y'all want to hear? So my real, it really wasn't that nice. He deserved it. So my realtor, Mr. Beal, who is, uh, and I don't know why there's a, a extra brown spot on the end of my nose, but Mr. Beal, he, um, is one of my new bestest friends, my realtor. And, um, he just was above and beyond. It was ridiculous. And he does love a, a strong coffee. He really is like a super jacked up kind of dude. And so I did get him a gift card for friends for $25. I was like, <laughs> I got him that. And I had a I had a whole card that was a butterfly that, that like unfolds on the top. And Otis, this is me. <laughs> And I wrote in there how you said you weren't just going to be a realtor, but you were going to be the most awesome realtor ever, and you really showed up for that. And, and thanks for doing that and, and going the extra mile. And most of all, thank, thanks for being a new great friend. And, he, and I, I gave him that. He was like, did, did you give me a realtor gift? Did you? It wasn't that nice. Anyway, I love people. I really do. And the, the attorney that was closing the... Um, he was a very nice guy too but anyway he was closing and then the the people by my house they have all these hopes and dreams for it and the guy's a contractor and he's going to be like revamping like that house needs a lot of work and he's going to do it and, and she was so excited I, I felt so happy about it because it's a great house it really is okay so here we are do y'all want to take a tour okay hold on Christopher will think this is obnoxious. So. What is everything in here now? Are y'all sure? Do you, you sure you can't wait? Was he single, the lawyer? Girlfriend, I told y'all, Granny is too busy for that. He was single, but that's not the point. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. This is some kind of little, little I don't know what those are. Okay. I'm going to turn y'all around. And you can see um, what it looks like, okay? Are y'all excited? <gasps> oh, it's silence. Go. Okay, here we go. <gasps> okay. Y'all can enjoy Christopher's vintage Bronco. You, you never see those still riding on the road, you know? What do you see these mirrors in my bedroom? That See, it's got this nice little walkway. It's got this. is very cute. There's my new little Miata, y'all see? Anyway, what I'm going to do, too, see, I have to get a lawnmower, but... I'm wanting to redo this up here. Obviously, it needs mulch and stuff. I know it needs things. Y'all have to... It's a fixer-upper, you know what I mean? And I'm just the person to do it. Okay? Hello? This is the front. See, this has been added on. This is a, like a little sunroom. See? How come I have to keep Carly's four boxes of baby dolls? Why, do, why am I in charge of those? Until she has a little girl, you know? Uh, we might have to listen to the dogs. See, it's got like, lots of little nooks and things. I, have, I don't have enough furniture for this house. I really don't. So, see, I'll be replacing that fan and the front door. Here is the den. Look here. You all see? Huh? You like? See how those blinds, if you put them down to the bottom, they won't, that's got to go. But anyway, let's look at the good things about it. See? The den is very large. I don't know where the boys are. Let's see. He must be out back. Here Christopher is. Oh God, that friend of his must be vaping. Okay, that's got to go. That is out. Christopher's gun. He's already got that up. See? Christopher has all this. So this is why I put him in here because it has all this built-in stuff and he can clearly... Okay, this isn't staying here either. Okay. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. See? Mm -hmm. Christopher has this large closet. See out back? Mm -hmm. Y'all like how I have on grown-up clothes today for a change? I can't see it's split bedroom, so over here, and I don't know why this is closed. Okay. Over here, like a little, little walk-in area. See, I'm gonna have to put like a different um, 
there's no storage in here at all. I mean, there's like this one little thing right here, but not really. But see, I'm giving my friends on the phone a tour, so don't freak out. My friends are on the phone having a tour. Here's my bedroom. Huh? Y'all see? I, I look, check out how you can check your outfit. Never as good as the first time. Never as good. Never. <laughs> see there? Look, big trees out there. It's not thinking we need any curtains. I just don't think we... And then, look, look. Do I need all these pants? Can I just... They, none of them fit me. These, these three pair fit here, and these are all too big. But anyway, but look, it has this really cute little old-timey dressing area, see? And you can see your outfit. Hey! <laughs> and then, over here, we have the Office of Love and Light. Huh? This is where my desk will go. If you meet me on Skype, sometimes I'll be sitting right here or in the front room. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like it. You want to see the kitchen, don't you? It needs a lot. It needs some character. It's, it's a nice blank canvas, you know what I mean? So in here we have the dining room. Obviously this light. See what I'm saying about these lights? Like it's not the worst thing, but that's got to go. So we'll be changing out the wallpaper and changing the paint and all. We'll have a nice dining room table right there. And then it's over to the kitchen. You see how this works? Ellie, relax. It's just me and the friends. Huh? And what's good is whoever kind of redid this kitchen some years back. See, it has like some, I didn't have these before. Huh? Yeah, you see? And then, hello. I know, it's not your same place, is it? So, this is the laundry room. See how large it is in there? Let's, let's come over. Good day. Watch out. Let mommy over. See, it needs painting and stuff. We, we can do all that. We really can. Y'all want to come out back? Y'all want to come outside? Come on. I'm going to get to the edge. I prop these here for temporary, see? Huh? Y'all like the trees? Huh? Porch life, yes! Huh? Oh, sweet nectarine, do you like it? You'll see. This house is clearly bigger than I needed. Are y'all are y'all noticing that? Come on, come inside. You're not safe out there yet. What? What is going on? They have a haircut next week in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? Is it cute? We're inside. We really are. Maritza, all this time we've been outside wanting to get in and now we are in. Y'all, thanks for coming along. Thanks for loving me and my little life and, and being along with me. You know, you really are my friends in there. You really are. You're real people. And somebody let a mosquito in here. Ugh. It's very cute. Anyway, I love y'all. And um, and we'll be having... So what else is good, too? See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my, my tripod here so that I can film the food good. And see, I can display it here. Can, can y'all not understand the, the filming? I was like, how is this going to look? And what's good... It's over here, so when we got these open, there's a lot, that's a lot of natural light. Oh, yes. Do y'all see? Huh? And you can see good. See? And we can, and don't tell me that's going to be good. Y'all. Nate! Hey, Nate. What are you doing? Nate's going to be visiting me here. He's a friend of my little girls. He's going to visit South Carolina, right? And, we, and there'll be lots of raw food making in here, and they'll be they'll be loving like, do, psst, I am, psst, thank, <laughs> you're proud of me, 
Yeah, I'm proud of me. I, I was proud of me in that closing. I, I was. And it's going to be good. It, it is. Anyway, thanks for coming along. And, and I love you. And I'll be seeing you soon from the new kitchen of Love and Light. Bye.